Su y Junior. Morning to our viewers across the world. It's 8 a.m. here in Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital, and you're tuned in to the weekend show exclusively on Africa Independent Television. On today's program, we bring you the best in lifestyle, sports, politics, and entertainment. But first up, the headlines of the week. Come with me. Welcome back to the weekend show. I'm joined by our entertainment and sports correspondent, Ina Peters and Kelechi Onudewe. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How was your week? Well, uh, very fine. I beat down uh, for much of the week, actually, with um kicking right now. Oh, very sorry well. about yeah, that. Thank you. How about you? It was very good. Good? What yeah. did you get up to? Uh, so I went for this event and it was really nice. You need to invite us to more events. I want to be more bubbly. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely send you an invite next time. <laughs> All right, then. On the political scene, uh, Nigerians protest the death of 13-year-old Ochania Ochiga, who died from complications of repeatedly being raped by her father. Uh, there was a protest at the Unity Fountain here in Abuja, and a lot of people were really appalled by this and came out to protest this act. Uh, Jafar Jafar meets Kano lawmakers over Ganduje's bribery allegations. We've shown you videos of this before where the executive governor of Kano State was stuffing dollars into his babariga. And um, in fact, the person who was giving him the kickbacks, allegedly a contractor uh, from Kano State, yeah. actually commanded the governor to stand up <laughs> while he was giving him oh, the money. Wow. Yeah, I actually yeah. watched that. Uh, it was amazing. I mean, uh, I, I thought it was a body double because I was wondering if the chief executive of a state can be commanded by someone he's supposed to be superintending. That didn't look good at all. His media aide said he was cloned. Yeah, so I think the word <laughs> is alleged. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so the people, Jafar Jafar, then released a voice recording um, in, in, in addition to the video. So how do you clone both the voice and, and the video? <laughs> so it's, very an, it's an interesting one. And we want to see what the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission will do about this, given the fact that they have already frozen their accounts of several PDP governors. So um, it's interesting to see what they'll do now that it's the case of an APC governor. Uh, moving on, police escort suspended NHIS boss to his office in the current controversial corruption scandal rocking the insurance scheme. Um, Senate calls on security agencies to investigate the cause of religious crisis in Kaduna as killings continue amidst tight security presence. Very lastly, in the political scene, as we quickly skim through this, Ethiopian president tenders resignation letter. He has been replaced by a woman, uh, Sali Wok Zawede. I butchered your name, so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> she's finally become the first female president of Ethiopia. Um, very proud moments there, as seen across Africa, how warm women are emerging to that top position. In Liberia, we saw the likes of Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Now we see uh, Sally work the red day. So yeah, it's girl, very... It's the black girl magic. Black really. girl magic. And now we can dream. We can reach for the stars. We can actually... 